Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome into a new YouTube video. It's been a while since I've done a Valorant guide video, but I decided to, you know, come back to it since I've been playing Valorant quite a decent bit lately and go back into my, you know, the OG roots, go on to the uh, agent guides and show you what Neon does and how you can actually play her and give you some cool tips and tricks. First, I'm going to go over the Neon contract, then I'm going to show you all her abilities and what you can do with them. So over here, if you go to agents, you see Neon. She is a duelist. She's a really, really fast duelist. You should play her if you're into fast paced, uh, you know, peaks and pushing. Otherwise, she might not really be for you as you do need to play her really, really fast and really, really aggressively. So contract, what we have over here. First, you'll get some cool spray, you know, nice to zap you with Phoenix and her. Then you get the Neon card. After that, you get the electrifying title right here down below. Tier 4 is another spray. And then fifth, you get her, obviously. Then sixth, you get a cool gun buddy that, like, animates itself. It's a surge protector gun buddy. Looks pretty cool. Not too, not too crazy, you know, blue and, uh, like yellow green and then light blue over here as well we have another neon spray uh you get a zoomer title which is uh made for 95 percent of valorant's uh you know player base uh after that you get the eye of the storm card which looks pretty cool you know like there's a storm going on over here and then she's in the sky thunderstorm pretty cool stuff and then later on for the last tier you get a frenzy which is also animated it moves over here from as i said like blue yellow green ish color now that we uh, went over the contract let me show you what her abilities are and how good she actually is let's go so now that we are in the game we have four abilities just like most of the other agents we have you know c q E and X abilities we're gonna go over all of them right now so her first ability is called fast lane this is her C ability and what you do when you press C is you put this two way. giant walls right here they're very similar to Phoenix walls but not quite at first they might be but not really you cannot really uh, change those you cannot curve them you cannot do anything with them all you do is just press c they go forward in two directions leaving center without anything so you can go through push and then you know you can also go Coming through the through. wall without taking any damage so can your teammates so if you go through you can do this you know quick peek what i love doing with c or how i love using it for example if you uh do play defender uh, if they decide to plant right here for example and they're holding long what you can do is you can go similar to you know like this hold an angle Coming press down. c so you like double block it then start defusing your teammate goes for the fuse you cover him once the wall goes down you shoot the enemies and you try to get a pick if you wall it forward well then they can literally just go in the middle and see you defusing it it's kind of stupid right uh in the other way what you can do is you can go on the attack side for example in haven and then uh, you can push with the, with a C. For example, if you go right here on long, you press C. It makes a gigantic wall whoa, whoa, for whoa. your whole team to go through. Push in, check left corner, right corner. Make sure to be careful for the enemies that do decide to go through your wall. They will take a little bit of damage peeking through the wall, but they will, you know, they can easily kill you and catch you off guard. I've seen it happen multiple times. It happened to me as well. So careful for the enemies deciding to go yolo and crazy and literally just peek your uh wall and then decide to kill you catch you off guard next ability we have is our q ability this ability is called relay bolt what you do is you shoot a bolt that bounces one time so it bounces and then it stuns everyone in the circle so if you throw it for example at this wall this. it will stun that wall and then it will bounce to the other side and it will stun the second part as well so it stuns two times Take so this. one and then it goes all the way back and it stuns this as well. It takes like half a second to stun. But once it does, it's a very long and annoying stun. Be careful not to stun your teammates as uh, they will pretty much rage quit. Every time I played and I accidentally stunned a teammate, they were very pissed. So be careful. Uh, you do get two of these relay bolts. So you can use them, you know, uh, four times basically in one game, in one round. So if you decide to push something, for example, what I used to do or what I what I usually do is I bounce it off of this wall. It goes off onto the side. So like it bounces this part right here. If somebody plays corner, plays with a shotgun and it bounces go. and it goes right over here. 
and stun someone playing behind uh, backside right here. So it goes through the walls. For example, if you do decide to stun this, it does stun even behind the walls. So that's really, really cool. You know, you don't need to aim behind the wall to bounce something. You can just throw it right here and everyone behind this wall will be stunned. Uh, our third ability is our uh, E ability and it's called high gear. What this does, as you might have noticed, we have this blue and yellow kind of bar in the middle, uh, bottom middle of the screen. What that does is that is our energy. If we use our E, go, go, go. we sprint really fast and the energy goes down. So that's really, really good for pushing sites or if you play defense for rotating between uh, between sites. I'm so if you here. do play Haven, for example, let's, let's use that as an example right here. You play C as an attacker. You can use Q right here. Come you put there. a wall, then you push with your uh, E, you charge in. What is really cool about our E ability is that we have a slide. You might have noticed two dots right down uh, under, like above our E ability, those dots are kills. If you get two kills, E ability resets. So go, with go, E, go. you can use your slide once per round uh, unless you kill two people, then it resets. It so it's really, really good for catching enemies off guard. If you go really fast and you slide go, go, to the go. right or left, they will not be able to catch, especially low ranks. They don't know how to trace people really well, and it's an easy, easy kill. Uh, do you make sure if you if you have an enemy right yeah. here, for example, don't really charge and then, uh, you know, oh, dash no. into them as they will literally just headshot you because you're going towards them. They will just headshot you one type, you no problem. I'm so make sure to go left, right, left, right. And, you know, like dash left, right or whatever you want to do. Uh, it's also really good if you throw your C, you can dash go, go, go. over here to the left and then catch enemies off guard, shoot them uh, and get some easy picks we also have an ult ability just like every other agent we have an x ability which is really really good because it gives Here you a freaking finger <laughs> literally gives you a finger but the finger electrocutes enemies so you can go around you go full speed just like your e now you go really fast and you can also slide by pressing right click as you can see right here you can slide and you hold left click to do damage to the enemies what i do with my x ability or my ult ability is i try to charge into the site slide in and just spray and pray literally just spray and pray keep in mind that this x ability does not really do that much damage so you'll need to hold on to the enemy for like a few seconds at least to kill them so, you know, go left and right, try to slide, try to dodge, make sure that they're not able to hit you. Uh, they can easily, you know, target you if you're standing still. That's why I always try to, like, just run around, go like this, zigzag. I try to B-hop if I have to, just to avoid enemy shots. If you do press X, your energy bar slowly goes down and you have 100 uh, zaps, let's say, right? As you can see in the bottom right, it says 40, but usually you have 100 that you can just zap around and go crazy with it. Uh, what I like about the ult is that it resets your energy. So what I do as an attacker usually is I use my E. I push into the site with my E. I try my energy to go down to like 10, 20. So like I use my energy, then I use X and it resets my energy back to 100. And then I get another like what? A 10, 15 seconds of pushing in, sliding and just zapping everybody like this make sure if you do play neon you get some aim labs you know aim training so you can track enemies around because you're gonna be moving really fast you have to track the enemies with this like laser zapper otherwise you will get absolutely no kills uh so yeah that is uh neon right there she is really really good duelist if you do play aggressive and you know you go for peaks if you play safe, I don't think she's really that good because everything relies on her speed and her being really fast, going into the sites and catching enemies off guard. If you are one of those people that uh, plays really aggressively and really, uh, you know, goes for picks, I would recommend Neon 100%. I've been maining her for the last few months and I absolutely love her. Again, she's not made for every map. Some of the maps that are like super you know close and small i don't think she's really that good but open maps including like ascent uh haven stuff like that breeze especially breeze really really good maps for neon because she can run around oh rotate through sites really fast as you can see i can go from c to b using like 50 energy then back to a uh, using oh one God. whole you know e energy right here 
catch enemies planning on on a then if they wrote it out i still have like 20 energy to go back to a then use my knife to go to c as well i hope this video helped you if it did make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe if you want to see more of these valorant videos make sure to drop a comment as well i would really appreciate it also i do stream on twitch every monday wednesday friday link is down in the description below i would be very happy if you stop in and say hi i also play a lot of valorant there so you can see me play neon as well and uh, you know just enjoy my time when i when i don't tilt anyway i'll see you in the next video peace out and have a good one bye bye